Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo, August 13, 2022. Cooperation comes more easily today, and it works in your favor. While you're giving a lot of thought to your career and the path it's taking, today is about examining and analyzing, but not to the point of stressing yourself out. Focusing on the positive side of your goals as inspiration can be helpful now. A Mercury-Venus parallel keeps things pleasant, open, and friendly, making it a good time for both work and play. A Sun-Uranus aspect also influencing today puts you in fine form for hopes and dreams. New ideas and potential ventures inspire you. You might break through a barrier or problem, which comes as a pleasant relief. You're in excellent shape for coming up with creative and exciting ideas for future projects. You'll be breaking ground, but since we're just a day behind the new moon, putting plans into motion should wait for later. You feel less inhibited, and you can experience more emotional clarity after or through sharing your thoughts or feelings with a friend. Is it strictly business or are you crushing? The sun continues to energize your 11th house of associations, community, and sense of belonging in the world, bringing greater emphasis to themes surrounding your social networks and desire for individual freedom. With the sun approaching a sweet sextile to Uranus in your sign exact tomorrow it's no wonder your desire to explore other horizons is so magnified at this time. And with both Mars and your planetary ruler, Venus, roaming through your exotic ninth house of adventure, one thing's for sure, you're willing to do whatever it takes to succeed, even if that means venturing out of your comfort zone. Does it feel like all eyes are on you? With the moon now in fixed Aquarius, you could feel like you are in the spotlight regarding your work. Luna could imply that you are being recognized for a feat, perhaps something that has to do with technology or even your online platforms. Recognition will come from your greater professional community and network, so you may receive words of praise from unlikely but welcome colleagues. But since you are in the public eye, be mindful of how you position yourself on and offline so that any recognition is solely positive. Just four days before Venus, the planet of money is not only due to return to your career sector but bring Mars with her, the moon wraps up its monthly visit. As well as leaving you with your professional instincts and imagination fueled, a friendly aspect to series in your income sector has left you with a better sense of your income needs and priorities. This comes just days before Venus will start steering this professional year in a lucrative direction. You're feeling feisty, but don't jump all up in people's grills. Most of what they say will be pretty low-key, but if you misinterpret their words, you might be asking for trouble. Instead of fighting back, just keep moving along. It's better that way. With today's astral energy at play, you might feel driven by a cause. Just don't let it drive you crazy. The urge to fix things, and even people, can lead you down a path of frustration. Take the time and do some kind of exercise that creates a meditative state. Repetitive exercise such as yoga or a series of laps on a track can give you the distance that you need. You will feel more at peace with yourself, too. Independence is definitely something the essence of this day can encourage for you. You probably prefer to work within the comfort of a partnership, however developing your own individual abilities is essential. Going off on your own to enrich your talents and to gain more skills will allow for the personal development that brings so much to every partnership you're involved in. Take the time to let the essence of this day work through you toward gaining greater self-reliance and independence. Our eyes in the sky. Your perception of what is real is likely off a bit, so big decisions are not advised during this time of cosmic and seasonal change. The thinning of the veil during the seasonal shifts can make you more susceptible to aggression from competitors, people who are jealous, and anyone you've angered. It would be best to lay low for now and protect yourself when you need to. On the upside, you're likely feeling generous and charitable now as well, so go with it and just be your most authentic self. Generosity is good for your attitude too, because your kindness enables you to win the support of many. Boost your public profile to the next level. Today's spring equinox signals the earth coming back to life, 
and why shouldn't your popularity do the same? In the morning, the Pisces moon squares off with Pluto in Capricorn, provoking unrest. In relationships, resentments flare up. We believe others haven't been treating us with the respect we feel entitled to. And yet, we likely haven't achieved desired results because we have made weak compromises. If we have willingly sacrificed our personal aims to preserve the peace, are we truly being walked over? Our distress is less the fault of another party, we share culpability for drawing poor boundaries. Arguments ultimately prove cathartic and get us to examine our own behavior. In the coming month, we take charge of our hero's journey, adopting leadership mantles and blazing independent trails cardinality infuses our decisions with purpose and meaning. Yet, we can ride this wave of innovation to manifest progressive change. Look for ways to bring people together by celebrating courage and uniqueness. Live in the moment and feel into your fire. You wake up thinking about a million different things thanks to an early morning quick-thinking Mercury-Jupiter sextile. This positive mental energy gives you an open-minded, broad future outlook and is perfect for brainstorming ideas and starting to make loose plans for some major things you'd like to see happen in your life, eventually. This is also a great time to do little things that can improve your mental daily life, like playing a new word game or doing research on a topic that interests you. Committing to learning something new every day might sound tedious or even, yawn, boring at first, but your brain will thank you in the long term. The urge to create emotional drama just so you aren't bored is strong, but that will probably cause more trouble than it's worth. Watch an action movie instead of picking a fight with someone IRL. You from seeing the truth. On the other hand, you could see flaws you've ignored up to now. The cosmic energy is very dense, which is why it would be best to rest and retreat instead of try to connect with people. Watch a movie and take a nap instead of falling down the rabbit hole of paranoia. After midnight, Venus in Taurus forms a trine to Pluto in Capricorn, intensifying romantic and financial situations. While difficult Venus-Pluto aspects might cause us to behave jealously, the trine shows us the value of digging deep and investigating what lies beneath surface-level interactions in ways that are ultimately transformative. A love affair that begins now would be one where each person negotiates their power dynamics through the vessel of the relationship, achieving healing in the process. We can use this influence to overcome sexual hang-ups and trust issues with our partners. On a material level, this can be a good time to invest in property or assets. They may come with hidden perks, yielding unexpected value over time. Shortly following this, the Sun exits cerebral Gemini to journey through emotional cancer in the month ahead. At this time, we become more aware of which relationships, business, or domestic factors allow us to feel safe in expressing our identity. To this end, we might be more attracted to that which reminds us of our past, which we view through a haze of nostalgia. We can pine for our childhoods or the way that things used to be. Our frame of reference is insular, making us more comfortable on our home turf, within established relationships or family dynamics. Our ego and our emotions are aligned, so we are less self-conscious about sharing our feelings. Yet, we still prefer to reveal ourselves to those who have earned our trust, as we know that not everyone is worthy of witnessing our vulnerability.